All right, what's the best way to spray paint DIY style with probably the easiest system possible? I seen this Apollo system at SEMA this last year, talked with those guys, got familiar with the system. Uh, my buddy Tom, Brian, Gooch, they all use this. Um, and I figured, you know what? I need to see what this is all about. I have some small little projects that I have coming up that I wanna spray in my home garage, but I currently only have a 110 volt plug in there. So this is kind of the solution. I'm gonna unbox this and show you guys what this is, uh, what it does, and what you can use it for. So let me, let me get this all unboxed. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right to the big box. But basically what this is, this is a six stage turbine sprayer. Turbines have been around for literally forever. Um, I'm pretty familiar with them. I have a five stage turbine at home that I use on, you know, house projects. It doesn't quite have the umph that this one supposedly does. So I'm pretty excited to give this a go. But let me get this thing out of here. First off, right in the box, nice gun cleaning kit. Oh, I'm gonna guess that this maximizer, I guess this is the spray gun. Yeah, so let's take a look at this first. Okay, so that's the spray gun that comes with the system, right? So a turbine essentially is six fans lined up in a row that forces air through that. So it's a ton of CFM. This one, I believe, goes to anywhere from like 11 to 12 PSI. Uh, but essentially, you use a pressurized paint cup um, and a high volume of air to atomize this. And what that basically translates into is super high transfer efficiency because you're not breaking up the product so much that it goes all into the air. So for home garages, that's honestly pretty solid uh, because low overspray, you're not gonna cover your toolbox in overspray, so that's gonna be pretty nice. Now this one is preloaded with a .8, and people will hear .8 and like, well that's a minigun. It's a full-size gun and it's a .8. You have to remember that this is a pressurized cup, so it's, it's taking air and forcing the paint to come out, as well as taking the air and atomizing it, so it doesn't take a big nozzle size to achieve, you know, proper atomization. So let me get the rest of this opened up and we'll just take a look at the whole unit itself. Ooh, also comes with a dim, din cup. This is a viscosity checker, that's kind of dope. And what is this? Oh, there's your pressurized cup. This is what I was talking about. So you see this little hose? This hooks into that gun and it forces the paint. It feeds air through the top of this cup forces the paint out of the gun. So that's why you only need a 0.8. And then here we've got various connectors. I'm gonna guess, oh, that's freaking cool. So you can also put this on the end of the hose. So if you didn't know, the air that a turbine puts out is generally pretty warm. You can put this on the end of the hose and dry waterborne base coat with this little nozzle. That's pretty sweet. And then obviously you've got a little cap and then the power cord and instruction manual, which I will read through this. I have watched Brian's whole video explaining the system. Um, it's really in detail. So if you're interested in this and need kind of a introduction to it, Brian Paint Society, his video is great. And then you got the hose. Now this, I can't remember how many feet this is, but it's a pretty big air hose, right? And on this end where it connects to the gun is a whip section, so it's flexible. Just It just makes spraying a lot easier. So there's the air hose. I am gonna pack all of this back in the box so I can take it home, so. Here is the unit. Get this thing out of here. Oh God. Oh yeah. All right, so let me back up and get situated. Okay. That comes packaged really nice. This is Apollo six stage precision six pro. So you've got a min max, super easy dial here that controls your air pressure on off switch. You've got two fans and I believe, yeah, these are like K and N air filter type of uh, 
filters so you can wash and reuse those but this this just keeps like heavy particulates out of these filters yeah this is the unit itself i am going to be painting a fender and a couple of other projects with this at home in the very near future so stay tuned for that let me get these other smaller boxes open we'll take a look at what's in here um, but this this unit i think is a pretty solid option for people that are looking to do things at home do things themselves maybe even set up a mobile repair business these because they run off of 110 you can run them off a generator which is a really cool option so if you are a mobile tech the one of these units is perfect that's pretty cool so they included a swag pack in this too we've got some stickers and some hats thank you guys for that i really appreciate it it's freaking cool and what do we got in here this looks like another gun what does this one it's another maximizer oh i forgot about that they've got two different guns so the green one that you just seen is uh base coats primer sealers the black one i'm gonna keep clean and only use for clear coat so yeah that is the precision 6 pro from apollo sprayers uh this this stuff is going to be set up and put to use very very soon in future videos so um, I, I also will geek out on all the specs I'll make a YouTube video um, going over all of that if you guys want to see that um, but yeah again thank you Apollo for helping me get this sorted out um, yeah I look forward to making some pretty cool stuff at home with this unit so stay tuned for that and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one